We've all got to start somewhere, and that place is usually at the beginning. Ain't nothing wrong with that, it's a great place to start. It means the only way is up. Progression and learning are a great thing and a great part of mountain biking, but they can be filled with a few challenges along the way. So in today's video, I'm gonna point out a few of the common mountain bike beginner mistakes to hopefully help you not make them. You start riding then and your stoke levels are high. You are happy to be on your bike, but you don't really know what you're doing. You're looking more like a passenger than a rider. And now more often than not then, it's because of this common mistake, poor body position and poor weight distribution. You just don't really know where to put yourself on top of your bike. A great place to start is what I call the neutral riding position. And it looks a little like this. Standing up out of the pedals, you can see I've got a slight bend in my legs and there'll be a slight bend in my arms as well at the elbow just to basically absorb any impacts and be able to shift the bike around. I can maneuver that bike because I'm, I'm square in the middle of it. My chest is above the top tube, my butt's either above or just behind the saddle so that my weight's ever so slightly back. If I was leaning too far forwards, it becomes harder to steer and also any bumps I hit is gonna help throw my body weight forward as well. Too far back and again, the steering becomes very light. When I'm in the, this position, I'm solid. I'm looking up, I'm looking ahead, reading the trail, and from there, I can make any adaptions that I need to. It's real easy to pick up some bad habits when you're a newbie. There's tons of information out there, but deciphering what's right or wrong can be real tricky without any actual guidance. Fear not, because I'm here to help you avoid making any mistakes, hopefully. A great way of learning what to do correctly is taking note of maybe pros or other more experienced riders who've had tons of years honing their craft and developing those skills, making them as perfect as possible. And by sort of seeing this and imitating it, you know and can tell what is right or wrong. Another great way of avoiding picking up bad habits is online tutorials. Now, call me slightly biased maybe, but I know a pretty good YouTube channel that tells you how to do it just right. And their lineup of riders, let me say, is something pretty special. It's easy to just hop on your bike and ride when you're a beginner. You've just got your new bike and setup is probably the last thing on your mind, let alone even understanding it, it can be an absolute minefield, especially when you are just starting out. All too often you'll see people just hop on their new bike and off they go, they're having a whale of a time, which is always great. But take a step back, think about that actual bike setup. There are some basics that you can do to make things a lot better. So things like the actual cockpit setup, so the, uh, the angle of your levers, the reach on your brakes, where your shifter's positioned, Maybe things like tire pressure as well. Even really basic things like saddle height, having the saddle at the correct height so that you're pedaling efficiently and comfortably are all really key things that can make the experience a lot better. We've got some real great videos on our channel and over on GMBN Tech, which dive well into the depths of bike setup. So if you are struggling, don't panic. There's something there to help you out. Oh. Oh. Being in the right gear can make the difference between a really fun ride and a potentially wet and minging ride, and that's no good. There are some great basic bits of clothing that I'd suggest investing in. So the initial ones that I think you should get are a helmet. Obviously, you should never leave for a ride without one, and that's just from a safety point of view. The proper shoes can give you both really good grip so your feet aren't jumping all over the place, but also protect your feet and keep you warm in the winter months. A step up in committing to clothing would be a good chamois, especially if you like to do long rides. It can make things way comfier. Finally, if winter riding is your type of thing, a solid waterproof coat and trousers will be worth their weight in gold, not only to keep you warm and dry, but to make the ride more fun as well. When you're learning, things can seem pretty scary when the pace starts to pick up, whether that's going uphill or downhill. Keeping momentum over obstacles can make or break getting through a section of trails. Now here actually, as mad as it sounds, speed is often your friend. Carrying a bit more speed through a certain section or over rough ground 
can make it easier and in some cases smoother. Mental, I know. Keeping speed and managing that momentum then through rough terrain is actually going to make your life simpler. This works basically by skipping over the top of bumps rather than going really slow and your wheel sitting in each hole if you like. So if you ever noticed if you're going over a large amount of rocks or roots and you're going quite steady should we say to begin with which is fair enough that actually it almost seems like your your body weight is lurching forwards where your bike is going plonk into each hole. Try and pick up the pace just incrementally if you can and over time you'll notice that actually the bumps get quicker because your wheel isn't sitting inside of every hole as much. The same can be said when transitioning from downhill segments to uphill sections. So keeping a bit of momentum on the downhill to actually enable you to shift gear easier and get up a little bit of uphill like we've got here is going to keep the trail flowing a lot better and keep you smiling for a lot longer. Always a winner. Oof. Oh. There we have it then. Those are some what I think pretty common beginner mistakes, but we've highlighted them. So hopefully you guys and girls out there will avoid them now and you'll just skip straight to the good stuff. But that's me done. Thank you very much for watching everybody. It's been an absolute pleasure. Why not give the little channel a, uh, a subscribe? It can't hurt, but I'm off out of here. Happy riding and I'll see you next time.